This video will guide you through installing Midnight BSD. We've already placed the CD-ROM into the computer and we are now starting the system. This system is actually running on Parallels, but it will work with any desktop PC. As you can see, when you first boot up the Midnight BSD installer, you're given a series of options. You want to pick Standard Install, and then hit Enter. On the following screen, you are given an option to uh, partition the disk. So, a, a quick way to do this is just to hit A, set it bootable with S, and then hit Q. That will allow you to pick a default install. You will not want to do this if you're trying to set up a dual boot environment with Windows or another system. This is assuming that you only want to install Midnight BSD on your computer. The next option allows you to install a boot manager. This will allow you to dual boot Midnight BSD with another system such as FreeBSD, Windows, uh, or another system. Um, in this case we're going to pick standard install uh, because we do not need the bootloader. The boot manager does not work properly with Windows Vista. You'll need to get another third party software program. Um, I use GAG on my system. Now we're going to actually create the partition tables. Again, you can just press A to pick a default set which should work fine in most people's systems. Then hit Q for finish. The next screen asks you to choose distributions. Now, we've uh, been using sysinstall from FreeBSD and as these are snapshots we do not have all the packages on the CDs. So you can just select exit here and continue and you'll get a minimal install of Midnight BSD. Then you want to pick CD DVD, which is the first option on the install media screen. It'll ask you one more time if you'd like to continue, just hit enter, and it will begin the Midnight BSD installation process. As you can see, it's copying the files over necessary to run Midnight BSD. The process is completed. Now it's asking if you'd like to set up an Ethernet connection. We would. We'll pick the first network adapter. We do not want IP6. We'll try DHCP. Uh, most people with routers on their network will want to use DHCP. Then you'll name your host. You can name it whatever you like. Um, I'll name mine test. As you can see, the IP4 gateway and the name server were uh, determined by the DHCP server, so we don't have to worry about that. Just hit OK. We do not want the machine as a network gateway. We do not want to configure INET D. We will turn on Secure Shell login so we can log into this host remotely. We do not want to set up an FTP server. We do not want to set up an NFS server or NFS client. Uh, MinIBSD does work correctly with these settings, though you can use them. We will set the time zone. Most clocks are not set to UTC. In my case, I need to pick North America and find the United States. Midnight BSD was updated and it does uh, have the changes to daylight savings time from last year. So I will pick Eastern Michigan here. Um, you can enable Linux binary compatibility. You'll also need to install some ports to make that work properly. I'll select no here though. Uh, we have a PS2 mouse, so we'll go in here. You can just hit exit and it will enable it, or you can test the daemon like this. As you can see we can move the mouse cursor around. This is asking if you'd like to browse the collection of packages now. We do not include packages on the CD so just hit no for this. Uh, this option will let you install a user account which is a good idea. So we're going to add a new user to the system named test
here you can pick your shell. Um, shell, K shell, and TC shell and C shell are available on this system. We'll just stick with the default here. Now we need to set the root password. We're setting it to test in your demo here, but it's recommended to use a secure password. We don't want to change any options, and we're all set to restart the computer. Now we're Midnight BSD is successfully installed. We're going to stop for just a moment here.